Hi everybody, welcome once again to the trending stream here on the World Wide Web. Please, please subscribe if you haven't uh, and click and hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. Whenever I make a new video, you never know when I'm going to go live. So you definitely want to hit that bell to see when I come out. And uh, guys, on this channel, basically, I cover the top trending topics worldwide, like I said earlier. But I give you a spin. I, I, I give you a commentary you won't probably find anywhere else. I almost guarantee it. And I connect the dots. And that's what I do here. And, you know, I've been, you know, changing up time. I like doing nighttime shows. But, you know, I want to try the daytime. So anyway, guys. Please subscribe. That's it. As easy as that. We'd love to have you aboard. Now, in my last video, just to catch everybody up, if you missed it, I did the Netflix loses over 200,000 subs because of the things now that they're promoting. Uh, again, people don't want to pay over $20 for their services. And basically, it's a bunch of garbage anyway. Uh, just recently now, CNN Plus, I guess they were having their type of subscription thing and all these things, streaming projects, and they were only out for three weeks and well, and they spent $1 billion, and now the woke backfire, they're calling it, how vanity streaming project for once the most trusted name in news, once most trusted name in news. Guys, you can't believe what they tell you on the news, guys. That's why I hope you guys come to me. You know, you're, I'm going to give you the news, but then I'm going to tell you why certain things are happening, right? So they lost money, just like many of the other streaming devices, especially uh, Netflix. Again, we need to speak with our dollars. Uh, collapse into uh, humiliation just three weeks after launches. Bosses dump CNN Plus after just weeks of pathetic subscriber numbers. People are waking up. These, these subscribing, you know, this is how they get you to. Back in the day, you know, you would get cable. And cable was, you know, 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Next thing you know, now in the 2000s, uh, cable's over freaking, you know, 100. I, I know a guy I was just talking to. He said his cable is over $200. With the internet and all that, 150 people don't want that. And then they go, okay, well, I'm going to cut the cable. And then they go and stream, you know, okay, I'll pay Netflix. That's $20, Hulu, uh, all these things, subscription bases. And it'll drive you to the, the poor land, right? You're just throwing away money for crap, trash that they're pushing in their system, right? And so people are waking up and, and thank God that they are. Uh, so there it is, CNN. We never trust CNN News, never in a million years. Again, Andrew, CNN's chief digital officer, was leading this team and to pay for, for garbage. That, you know, again, CNN itself has lost... You know, I, I heard it was like only like they only had like 10 or 20 or something thousand viewers for one day. You know, most high acclaimed YouTubers are getting that. CNN ain't doing it because people now are seeing that they're a bunch of liars. They're a bunch of manipulators and they push their own system. Now, real quick as well, a lot of people have been asking me about the Johnny Depp case. I've been actually following it. I think it's very interesting. It's very intriguing. And, uh, you know, a lot of symbols and, and signs and things that are going on in those inner circles. Uh, I, I will be coming out with a video on The Truth Never Sleeps, my, my original channel, or my second channel. They took down the first Truth Never Sleeps. And I will probably be doing a video tonight on the subject on the Johnny Depp uh, trial with Amber Heard. And there's a lot of symbolism there, guys. I'm going to break it down. Johnny Depp is not a good guy. Just let, let's put that out there, you know, for those that aren't going to watch my video that I'm going to make tonight, possibly, Lord willing. Johnny Depp is a guy who hangs out with Marilyn Manson. He has a band with Marilyn Manson, okay? This guy is the epitome 
of wickedness and evil, okay? I mean, that's all, all I have to say is that. And then the guy has used, uh, you know, dr you know, druggy, you know, okay? That's, I mean, uh, Johnny Depp said he used uh, almost every drug by the time he was 14, 15 years old. This guy is not good. And then if you want me to get an Amber, she herself is not good as well. She's nothing but a puppet. I believe she herself is controlled and contrived. I hear she's having an affair with Elon Musk. This is going into Johnny Depp's apartment. He only used to have, uh, where they used to live, uh, they had a penthouse. And here you see Elon Musk with Johnny Depp's wife going up there, hugging her and all these things. She's nothing but a sheet. She's nothing but a skeet. Uh, and it is what it is. Okay? Franco, she was with Franco, all these things. These people are not good. But this is what they call the distractions. And these people are as evil as hell. Evil, evil, evil. Okay? So that's my take. Uh, uh, you know, a real quick five second or whatever, three minute, four or five minute rant, whatever. This is nothing but a distraction. I talked about it on Beyond Awake. Uh, Elon Musk is very evil as well. This guy doesn't give a dang. People think that he's like some kind of whatever. He don't care about you. He's an egomaniac, a monster, uh, you know, neuro links, all these things, digital currencies, a part of the system. But people will bow down to this guy. I don't know why. Now let's get to the subject, right? Talking about uh, people under the influences, right? Under the influences and all that, we're going to talk about Mike Tyson, Iron Mike, they used to call him. They called him the greatest boxer at the time when I was a kid in the, the late 80s and 90s. The, the, you know, the most, you know, what was it? The uh, most dangerous man or whatever, right? I remember getting his video game, Mike Tyson's Punch Out and all these things, right? Uh, now the guy is, is peddling uh, you know, uh, vape marijuana, all this crap, okay, so all these things, of course, to promote this, now again, connecting the dots, Mike Tyson was seen hours before he went on a flight, right, he was hanging out in San Francisco, I guess he was going to go to Miami, 420, which was, you know, two days ago, Tyson, uh, a marijuana entrepreneur, right, you know, you got to promote that, right, this is what they want, now again, I, I'm for municipal purposes. If, if you have certain elements, some people have asked me, well, so what do you think about marijuana? All this? I go, there's benefits, health benefits in certain aspects, but you can't be doing it just to do it on a whim. I don't agree with that because that brings in energies, that brings in spirits. It's just like whatever. You don't do it, right? Just like, uh, again, uh, you know, this guy, yeah, you know, and his wife, his ex-wife, Amber, this is all they did and all they were filled with were demonic spirits fighting and beating up each other, okay? But you go, oh, no, no, it comes you down, sonny, and you just get hungry. No, I don't believe in that. I, I don't. If you need it here and there sporadically for, for a medical thing, okay, I can see that. But to just go get blazed? No, hell no. I mean, no way. So anyway, Mike Tyson... Well, again, was on April 20th, smoking and all that in San Francisco. Famed Hippie Hill, right? One witness told DailyMail.com that Tyson seemed chill before boarding the red-eye flight. It was actually smoking again and entering the airport. Mike Tyson was repeatedly now, well, I guess, some punk guy. Okay, we're going to get to know who this guy is. Uh, so here he is, chill, smoking, whatever, right? Uh, again, all these things, Tyson, before he, he, he boards a flight, having the smiles. And, and so anyway, this guy, this fool here, a schneister, a con man, we're going to get to know again what this guy's all about, was taunting uh, Mike Tyson. They said he was inebriated, he was drunk, whatever. He's talking crap. Allegedly, the victim stands up continuously, gesturing towards the uh, you know, camera, presumably being uh, operated by his friend. So his friend, they looked like they were like in a first class seat. The alleged victim initially had, um, you know, had, you know, some exchange with Tyson, according to TMZ. A witness says the man 
and a friend greeted the 55-year-old boxing legend as they boarded the plane and even got their picture taken with Tyson seated. However, Tyson soon grew tired of engaging with the man and reportedly asked him to be quiet. Now, there's speculation too, or, or I guess the guy threw a bottle at Mike Tyson or whatever, and Mike Tyson just started welling this guy, punching him like a punching bag. And here it is, video shows Mike Tyson plummeting a uh, plane passenger after apparent harassment. It appears harassing Mike Tyson and throwing a water bottle at him is not a very good idea, but who knew? Video of the former heavyweight champion boxer, you know, just bashing this guy. A fellow passenger in a plane went viral Thursday with TMZ reporting the incident to have taken place Wednesday night on a jet blue. Well, he's going to be black and blue because he got his butt pounced in um, from flight from San Francisco International Airport to Florida, Miami. Tyson, Lee, Tyson reportedly walked off the plane seconds after the confrontation. So th thank God, actually, it's good that um, the plane wasn't even flying, right? They, they're boarding, they're getting ready to get off the tarmac to get to, to you know, to go and fly out. There weren't even, you know, thing. they were boarding everybody. And then this fool's acting like a fool. And Mike Tyson does it and whatever, beats him up. TMZ presents the video as a, a play in three acts. A passenger appears to harassing Tyson while sitting behind him. Tyson's in the middle of introducing said passengers to his fist. And then the passenger seemingly making a mock pouting face while sporting some cuts on the side of his head. So here again, uh, the mocking, blah, 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 uh, and all these things here. And of course, we know he's boxing and... I'll show you some more photos of the guy here in a second. So anyway, he received, okay, so the man reportedly received medical attention and spoke with the police. The police took him in after the incident. A San Francisco Police Department spokesman told ESPN Mike uh, Coppering or whatever that he provided minimal details to the police and refused to cooperate with the investigations. Ty Tyson's camp claimed the passenger had not only harassed Tyson, but threw a water bottle at him and so forth and so on. Unfortunately, Mr. Tyson had an incident on the flight with an aggressive passenger who began harassing him and threw a water bottle at him while he was in his seat. And I guess my, they're saying Mike Tyson was defending himself. It has been 17 years since Tyson's last professional boxing match, so forth and so on. He did uh, fight, you know, just a regular dumb fight or whatever. A um, couple, what, about a year ago or so. Tyson and Roy Jones Jr., November 2020, or that was his last one. And uh, yeah, he was the guy who ate the... The ear, right? Remember Holyfield and, and all that. And it is, you know, he went down from there or not. So now uh, what, you know, Mike Tyson is doing, he's promoting marijuana, getting people drugged up like all the other people, right? Like, um, uh, what's his name here? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, all that. That's what they want. They want people in an altered state. They don't want people to be thinking coherently, no, go ahead, blaze up. Just be a co uncoherent person, right? Here he is. The pair appeared to smoke their own separate across the table. This is agenda here, right? But anyway, so Mike Tyson, when he got out of the plane or he got back out, you know, he was just hanging out again here. Mike Tyson smokes again while posing with a fan after punching. We know that. Now, who is this guy? Well, he's a Florida man who punched Mike Tyson on the jet plane uh, jet blue plane is identified as a 36 year old thief and a froster who is, uh, again, nearly three years. He served nearly three years in prison. The man who punched Mike Tyson after allegedly harassing the boxer, boxing legend aboard that jet blue in San Francisco has been identified. His name is Melvin George Townsend, the third of Punta Puta. Gordia, Florida, alleging harassed Tyson and threw a bottle at him. 
Townsend has served 20 and 15 months in prison sentences for a variety of crimes. The 36-year-old stole, stole, you know, he stole a trailer in 2018 by trespassing and hitching it up to his pickup. So he's a big-time thief. Townsend was last released from Florida prison in July of 2020. After serving 15 months of a 25-month sentence for, uh, you know, using a fraudulent personal ID. He is also being charged for burglary, drug possession, and trafficking stolen goods. So the San Francisco police did detain the two individuals from the flight, but declined to identify either. They did share the video of the attack. It's unclear if the Santa Monto County authorities will be pursuing charges against Tyson. So there you go. This guy is no bueno, no good. Got a rap sheet as long as, a, you know, a street, a New York street or whatever. Here you see him when Mike Tyson, again, I can't show you the video because if I show you the video, TMZ and all these things. But here you can see him. Uh, you know, the guy's here, he jumps over and just starts welling him fist after fist. And then this is the cause of it right there. He looks all sad. Many people said he, he was drunk. Right, right there's the video. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I got to be careful to show you that. But yeah, he was really welling on him. And the guy was a bona fide creep. The guy who antagonized and got punched by Mike Tyson. Again, is George from Punta, Punta, all there. So there you go. Now, guys, you know, after, you know, just recently, a couple of days ago, we had the, the uh, TSA stops enforcing the mandates for the mass court ruling and, and flight attendants warned there was more violence and all these things. But now people were happy. They didn't have to wear the mask. Right. Because of actually a Florida judge said, no, they can't do that. Whatever. And then all of a sudden, what are the coincidences that you would have this fight? Right, guys? This is what I do here. I connect the dots. You would have Mike Tyson now without a mask, right? No one's wearing a mask because you don't have to. And then he starts beating up people as well. Now, another weird similarity or, or, or you know, assimilation, because I believe this is all part of a system, a construct that they continuously want us to follow Another trending topic. Okay, so Mike Tyson does the play. Well, the first thing was the the we don't have to wear a mask on flights. And then Mike Tyson beats up somebody. And now check this out. There's a show on HBO Max called The Flight Attendant. The Flight, get it again, which is trending. People are talking about this stupid show. I've never watched it. And I'll never watch it because I don't give a crap about Hollywood trash called the flight attendant. So within the matter of, you know, three or four days, this has been trending, planes and, and all of these things. So anyway, guys, you let me know down below. What, what do you think? Uh, did, was Mike Tyson, did he have every right to do what he did to, to this guy? Yeah, this guy was a complete jerk. Hey, I, I don't believe in hurting people, right? Or whatever. He could have got up, went to the, 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 the stewardess, uh, the flight attendant. Hey, uh, this guy's bugging me. Can you move this guy? Can you get him out? But again, this is the world we live in, right? And it is what it is. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed me connecting a little bit of dots, putting some things together. These are the top trending topics, flight attendant show, Mike Tyson, you know, all this stuff. It is what it is. And look forward to my next show. My next broadcast will be on The Truth Never Sleeps, where I will connect the dots with Johnny Depp, right? Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and the connections to the dark inner circles. And I truly believe that this is all part of this game that is being played. They want you to keep on looking over here to the soap opera Jerry Springer, Springer trash when there's so much more levels to this that are going on. Again, yes, the scripted reality angel wins. God bless you. Thank you. And I see you, Eric. CNN is trash exactly as well. Straight light uh, looks fake. Of course, TMZ, all of these things. Uh, 
Well, okay, what happened to the free app in the channels? Uh, what happened to the free apps and channel? Well, are, are you talking about my app? My app went down because, again, Google didn't like it. Um, but, yeah, there's always free apps if you want. Like, if you're streaming, there's um, Tubi, there's Pluto, there's XMO. You can watch free crap. You don't have to pay for this garbage stuff. And even then, they promote trash. But I don't know if that's the question you're asking, Angel Wins. I think the Mike Tyson thing on the plane was fake. And it sure well could be. You know, but again, you know, because people don't do that. Nobody really got arrested. They were questioning Mike Tyson just walked away, basically. It is what it is as well. You guys let me know down below in the comment. Like I said, my next video possibly tonight. Okay, yeah, the channel you had where you gave us free apps. Um, I, I had a website, too, that went down. I did have some apps as well. Everything went down. They took it down. Uh, it cost a lot of money to set it up. I may be doing something else down the road, Angel. Um, I'm going to also have, a, I may even do uh, my old videos. People have been asking me for the old Truth Never Sleeps videos. So I may start doing that. So yeah, thank you for supporting that and, and everybody that knew that. Again, uh, when you work and when you put, when I make an app, when I made the app, I was on Google, Google App Store and all this stuff. And they started screwing, you know, they, they didn't want to do it. I was pushed to the back, just like these channels that I'm making. So I'm very careful what I say on these platforms. So yeah, they're making it tough. Uh, the truth never sleeps dot website got messed up as well so I, I i gotta rebuild again so yeah guys but i appreciate each and every one of you guys i love you guys and again I, i'm gonna work on it more but again with all the things going on on these major platforms it's really hard for me to be who i really want to be let's really be honest but anyway guys that's why i give you what i can give you and i really appreciate all your support, your love, the donations, the PayPal, all that, guys. You guys are awesome. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on The Truth Never Sleeps. We're going to cover a little bit. I'm going to connect some dots on the Johnny Depp trial. So if you're not subscribed over there, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed over here, what are you waiting for as I connect the dots here on the trending stream? Thanks again. God bless. May you all have a blessed weekend if I don't hear from you and talk to you. Much, much love. Take care.